Hi there curry fans, Julian from The Secret to That Takeaway Curry Taste and Curry To Go. I'm here uh, at Curry To Go this week filming our uh, videos for the new recipes in The Secret to That Takeaway Curry Taste Part 2. Um, just want to just mention something in a video to you today, just a tip and some of you are already familiar with this if you bought my first ebook and that is um, the use of condiments in BIR cooking and when I say condiments I'm talking about pickles, sauces, um, uh, garlic uh, preparations and all sorts of things that they use to, to create tastes in curries. You can just add one condiment or a couple combined and you can create a whole new curry and that's why when you look on the menu and you see all those curries um, you think how do they do them all? It's just by adding one ingredient or leaving out an ingredient or changing things around a little bit and that's how they come up with a whole new name and a whole new curry. I'm just going to introduce you to a couple of condiments that you might not be aware of and some of them might be a little bit of a shock to you. Um, first one I'm going to show you is this tomato ketchup. Now I know what you're probably thinking, you're thinking surely not. My finest Indian restaurant does not put um, tomato ketchup in a curry. Well depending on the type of curries that they make there are a few recipes that utilize tomato ketchup. It actually does provide um, a very nice um, background flavor to certain dishes and in my next book um, The Secret to That Takeaway Curry Taste Part 2 I'm going to show you how you use this um, in a particular curry or two and how it creates a very interesting nice flavor. So that's the first little one I'm just going to mention to you. Um, another one, tamarind sauce, or this is called tamarina sauce. This is a common um, brand, the Maggi brand, uh, that is, is used in BIR cooking and it's, it's a good brand because they basically um, just use spices and tamarind extract to make this particular one. And tamarind is another condiment that's used to create a nice sweet sour flavor. Tamarind is, is quite sour. It's a fruit that's dried and pressed. You can make your own sauce by soaking it in boiling hot water and, and straining it and then blending it and all the rest of it. But if you buy this brand, it's quite good. Again, in my um, part two, I will show you how they use this in different curries to create different flavors with great results. So that's the other one. I'll tell you where um, this has led to, tamarind, this. Now, HP sauce, brown sauce, whatever you want to call it. Th this is um, obviously very quintessentially English or British, hence the Big Ben on the front there. But did you know that actually the influence for this actually comes from India? It was during the time of the British occupation of India, during the, the Raj, that uh, they acquired a taste or a love for British, uh, sorry, not British, Indian foods, pickles, chutneys, and the like. And one that they, they got a real taste for and they used to use it a lot was the tamarind sauce and hence HP sauce came about. If you look at the ingredients in HP sauce, you'll see that it has tamarind in it and it's the tamarind that gives it a nice brown color along with dates and other things uh, that creates that fruity sour flavor. So we get HP sauce from tamarind sauce. Um, other condiments, I'm just gonna show you this one here. This is a brand that's used a lot in the British Indian restaurant, Shah brand, and this is a special garlic pickle. And this garlic pickle's got almonds in it, it's got raisins in it, and all manner of pickling spices. Very, very pungent. Um, you can just have a look. It's pickled and it's preserved in oil. Just have a little look in there. Now, it's a pity you can't smell that because the smell is really, really strong. Now you can just use a little bit of this pickled garlic in a curry. There's a few recipes that we're going to show you in part two to the secret of that takeaway curry taste that use this pickled garlic that create incredible curries just using this condiment. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with this one which I've highlighted before, Naga pickle which is used extensively in Indian restaurant curries too. So there's just a few condiments 
uh, just to uh, give you a little bit more insight into what goes on inside the Indian restaurant kitchen and how they produce all those curries that we love and uh, the shortcuts and little tips there. So stay tuned to this channel for more interesting videos and particularly uh, posts about our new book which will feature recipes using all these ingredients uh, in the near future. So stay tuned. Thank you.